وقاب In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install a set of W204 wind deflectors slash weather shields slash window visors for your W204. All that coming right up. Now, before any of you start hating, I know that this isn't everybody's cup of tea. So if it's not your cup of tea, move to another table where they're serving your cup of tea. This is a very simple installment for your W204 and there are basically three types of wind deflectors out there and the most common ones are those in which you place them on with adhesive and they basically just stick onto the windows of your door basically just here on the top portion of your door frame. All you really need in order to make it stick is some um, isopropyl alcohol now i've always stressed this in my videos that you need isopropyl alcohol if you're going to work with anything that involves adhesive because you want to make sure that you clean the surface well before you apply any adhesive that way you get the strongest bond possible and the third most common type of wind deflectors would be the wells visors window visors and these are a great set of visors because they have both adhesive strips as well as clips now originally i wanted ones like this because they had both adhesive strips and clips but in the end i settled for my one but these well visors ones are great wind deflectors as well and you can see from the pics that i'm showing you now that they are a great set of wind deflectors because not only do they use adhesive but they also use clips giving you extra peace of mind that they won't just come off as you're driving now in this case we don't need that because the style of wind deflectors that I'm installing today don't even need adhesive strips. There is a little bit of adhesive at the top of my wind deflectors but my specific type are fitted into the gaps of your windows and you use these tabs in which you shove in between the wind deflector and your window which is right up in here and that pretty much keeps it in place. Now you're probably thinking how the hell is that going to survive like doing 100 kilometers an hour or 100 miles per hour down the freeway but I've gone over 100 kilometers an hour and it really isn't a problem at all and I've had these on for about two three years now um, I put them on really early when I bought this car because I've always wanted wind deflectors for the simple fact that I smoke for people who do smoke cigarettes out there wind deflectors are a benefit because you're able to leave your window open that little bit when it's raining and therefore stop any rain coming in you just want to be able to air out your car as you're having a cigarette okay so now let's get into how you install these and it really is so simple this is the wind deflector that I have today they are ones designed by iSpeed, as you can see right there. You can get them on the website right there. And the website is www.ispeeduk.com. And I got these for about $100 shipped to Australia. I believe they're only $60 if you're in the UK. But uh, because I had them shipped to Australia, it costed another like 30 Australian dollars. So altogether about 100 Australian dollars. The reason why I went for a set like this also is because it has this little part here which sits where the side mirrors are. And I like that because it also stops the wind coming in from that part as well. As for the rears, the rears are very simple. It's just a straight deflector and it basically just sits like this. So if you've seen any of my videos previous to this, you would know that I've had these wind deflectors on for a very long time. But today, I wanted to take them off and show you guys how you install them because it's something that is very easily done. And if you're interested in getting something like this, I want to show you how easy it is to do today. As for what you use in order to secure it, this is it right here. These are aluminium tabs in which you shove in between the wind deflector and your window and it sits in there but once you have your wind deflector in it will push up against your wind deflector and your inside of your window and it will hold your wind deflector in place and how this works is it has a little clip right here a little tab right there and that tab grips onto the material inside your window right here and therefore stays in place 
giving your wind deflector a solid mount. Let's go ahead and install these right now. Originally, I had a couple of adhesive strips that came with this wind deflector. There was one here and there was just another one over here. But now they have just been worn out. They don't really stick anymore, but that's okay because that was really just to hold it in place while you added the tabs in place. In order to install this, it really is quite simple. So I'll bring you guys closer and I'll show you guys how it's all done. In order to install the front ones, you have a little lip here. All of that lip has to sit inside your window frame. We're going to push it in here now. And as you can see, I'm just going to push it in on the rubber part of this window frame. I bend it a little bit and I tuck it in like so. And as you can see, that's exactly how your wind deflectors are going to sit. Just like that. We simply grab our tabs. You're probably going to need about two or three per window. Now you can do this with anything really, a flathead screwdriver, whatever you choose. I'm just going to use this because it's all I need. With your tabs, you want to make sure that the side with a clip sits on the inside and the flat part sits on the outside. That way, this little clip here does not scratch your window visor. Okay, and you simply just split it into three. One in the middle and then one there. So let's go in the center first. All we do is we push it up in between and that's it. So as you can see, it's still pretty loose right now. So. We'll grab a couple more and we put as many as it takes in order to make it solid. So now we'll grab one more, we'll put it in here and we'll just push it up. Okay, and we'll just push it straight up. All right. There we go. And lucky last, one right here. So we'll just push it in. And there we go perfect now see with that in there as you can see it isn't as loose as it was before and it really does just stay put you know I've had these like this for a long time and they haven't come off once at all and it's amazing that without any adhesive these window visors are able to stay intact the way they are and uh, block any wind from coming into the car when you have the window open just that little bit. As for the rears, the rears are just as simple to install. Originally, as you can see on the rear ones, they had a piece of adhesive strip here, here, and also another one just there. When I installed it, I didn't even use it. I just peeled it off now and that's why it's still sticky at the moment, but that's not a big deal at all. All that matters is that you get it in the right place. So in order to install this, we push in the back first, and then we pull it down and simply slide it up until we get it fitted in. And that's it. Look at that. That's how easy it is to install. Now, as you can see, it just comes on and off until we install some of these tabs. Okay, so we're going to install three. One. Two. Third one. We'll just put here. So we'll just push it on up and there we go three and now look at that that ain't going nowhere it is very solid it definitely is nicely in place and uh, it ain't going nowhere and that's it now we have all of them installed and once we put up the window it will also help clamp it in place as well but as you can see, even with the window down, that ain't going nowhere. And it is very solid. That's how easy it is to install wind deflectors into your W204, especially this type of wind deflector where it doesn't need any adhesive strips at all. All you do is simply use push tabs and you can easily install these wind deflectors onto your W204. Just to show you guys that there's no interference with the windows at all. I'm just going to push the windows all the way down. As you can see, and I'm going to pull them all the way up. No interference at all with the window and the window visors. And well, there you have it guys. Another quick and easy modification for your W204. 
If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. There is so much more coming soon, so be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.